Okay, so this is going to be a video all about how to put on different types of gas masks or respirators. And obviously I can't go through every gas mask I have because I have like 60 something different gas masks, but I can show you some of the most popular designs and how to put them on. So we're going to start off with a half face respirator, uh, because obviously a lot of people actually do use these for practical reasons. Now the 3M1s and a few other brands normally come with a neck clip and the headband. So what you're going to want to do is put the neck clip on first, and these kind of have these little plastic tabs. So you put it around the back of your neck, and then you just feel that through till it clips on. Obviously you might need to tighten the strap, sometimes it's easier to have the masks on or off, depending on the mask. And then what you want to do is put the, your, the mask into your chin like this, and then push up. Now you've got the mask actually on, so now what we do is we stretch the headband over and back, and then the headband sits on there, like that, with the sort of skull cap thing there, and that's on nice and tight. I've previously adjusted the straps, you can adjust it while it is on your head by just pulling these down to tighten it, but if you want to adjust these, sometimes it's easier to do it off, then try and put it on, see if it's a good, you know, fit, and then adjust as necessary. But these are very easy to take on and off, you simply, you know, put the neck clip on first, then you put your headband on. So to take it off we do the opposite, first we lift the headband off and it will come off like this. These masks are practical because they hang from your neck, you can actually just walk around with it like this when you're not using it and then when you want to put it on, just do the same process. And when you want to take it off, after you've done that you just unclip the neck bit from behind and that's how you take on and off um, half face masks with this kind of setup for the sort of bands and everything. Okay, so let's look at helmet style masks because the Soviet GP5 or SHM62U is the most popular gas mask on the surplus market. I thought we'd have a look. This is actually a Polish MUA rather than um, a GP5, but the exact same logic goes to putting it on. So the masks are basically a rubber hood. They're called helmet masks, but I think hood masks is actually a better name. And it's stretchy rubber. So what you want to do is you get the chin bit and you put your chin into it. Then you pull back with your hands here, then you just adjust the rubber to get it to fit properly. Now, if it's a good fit, what you can do is just do this, and we can pressure check it. By pressure checking, you get a good idea if it fits your face or not. After you've used a couple of masks, you'll probably know the exact size you want to go for. Always, I always need size 2 or size 3 Soviet masks, or sort of Warsaw packed hood masks. Uh, to take it off, you can either pull it from the actual metal bit here and up, or you can actually use your finger to help break the seal and pull it off that way. But these masks are very easy to take on and off. They're probably the fastest masks you can actually don, just simply because the rubber stretches. So again, you put your. I'd say the easiest way is to put one thumb and the other thumb on each side of it like that, and then your chin in, pull up and adjust the rubber as you see fit. Again, very easy to take on and take off. These are mostly designed, you know, for soldiers to put on easily, things like that. So, um, you know, it's very easy to take these off and on. Um, as long as you know what size you need, uh, these are very simple because there's no straps to actually worry about with them. Okay, let's look at something a bit more retro. Before the Soviets used the helmet style design for everything, they kind of like these five point head harness things. This one's actually a six point head harness, but you kind of get the idea. There's five point ones that have the exact same similar method. Now these straps are a bit weird, because while you can adjust the top straps individually, uh, for the most part all the straps are designed to pull tight with only two pull cords. So what I'm going to do is just loosen those, and you just have to pull it through to loosen them. They're not the easiest ones to do easily on video. But basically what you want to do is get these straps as loose as possible at the bottom first. And again, the method for putting it on is to put your head into it, and then pull the strap over. But I'm going to need to loosen it first, so let me just do that, and then I'll demonstrate doing it from a fully loose position, so it's easiest to put on. Okay, so as you can now see, there's a lot more room there for me to stick my head in, and these straps are barely pulled through. So I'm going to be able to start tightening them. So, again, I need to put my chin in first. And just try and pull those straps over as best I can. Now these are on, I want to pull these side bits tight. There you go, you've got a pretty good face seal by doing that. The advantage to having the two bottom straps is you only need to pull those and it kind of adjusts the other straps as you pull it. 
The disadvantage is you kind of have to undo it a lot to get the mask on and off each time. And the mask pressurises, so I've got a good seal. Okay, what about rubber masks that have a five-point head harness with a rubber kind of strap system? Now, the Israeli one comes with one of these. If you've got a mask with one of these neck-carrying straps, always put that on first because it just makes everything easier because the mask's actually held in place. It's a bit like the 3M kind of neck strap system. Then what you want to do is you want to fully loosen all of the straps. So on this one, they're fully loosened. The great thing about the Israeli mask is it's a one-size-fits-all respirator. Now, the only strap that you can't really adjust easily is this top one. Uh, the top strap is kind of one that you have to feed through, so you have to work out for yourself how you want that. Another thing that annoys me with some of these is they actually end up sort of totally um, getting tangled that, where it's sort of a bit, you know, not right. But anyway, let me demonstrate how you put this on. So you fully loosen all the straps, then you put your chin into it first like this, pull the strap over and down, and then your chin should be rest resting in the chin hole. So then what you want to do is evenly pull the left and right straps and then these ones here. And as I said, this top one's a bit annoying because you can't easily adjust it when it's on. After the video I might unthread that and re-thread it through so it's nice and even. And then, yeah, as I said, you just tighten those as tight as you can comfortably get them. Then you do your pressure check. The mask pressurises is on properly. For taking it off, you undo these same straps. and then you can simply lift the mask off in the backwards motion. So, this is quite a good strap system. Other than the top strap, I wish it was just an easy pull one like the others. You simply fully loosen it when you're not using it, pop it on, then just pull it tight. Simple to do. These masks are designed as a one-size-fits-all mask because it's a civilian mask, and it's a very competent strap system design because it's really nice and easy. They undo to be absolutely massive. You put the mask on, then you pull it tight. Let's look at elasticated six-point head harnesses. These are probably the best ones, in my opinion, simply because they're easy to put on and take off, and you can get a very good fit. Um, so basically, these are a similar system to the Israeli one, where you pull each of the straps tight, um, but you've got it for each six of the straps. So again, the proper method is to put your chin in first, then pull it back. Another thing I'll show you of these masks is another way some people like to put them on. Some mask manufacturers recommend it, but personally I don't like doing it this way. Is to bend the straps over the front of the mask so the back of your mask looks like that. Then to put your face into it like that, then pull these back. Again, I don't think that works any better personally than doing it the other way. But when the mask's on, you do the same process of tightening the straps till they're comfortable but tight trying to do it roughly evenly so both sides pull quite tight and if you need to do the top straps then you've got your finger for taking it off you can do the same thing with a lot of these masks once you've got them to the tightness you want you only have to undo the bottom straps to take them off because there's a bit of elastic play in here now most mask manufacturers recommend you put your chin in first and pull it over as I've been showing you if you cut your hair short like I do, you don't really have to worry about your fringe breaking the seal of the mask. So what I often like to do to put masks on quickly is to put the mask on my head like that, simply pull it down, then we tighten the straps. Again, there's no real advantage or disadvantage to that, but I find I can do masks fairly quickly by doing that, and with some masks it's easier just to pull them up and pull them down than messing around with the straps especially if they're previously elasticated to let you do that. Okay, now let's have a look at an S10. This is the one I did a video on recently on how to clean. I put some silicon lube on afterwards after I cleaned it. I might actually need to use some glass or plastic cleaner on the eyes bits to make them just as um, clean. But as you can see, it looks a lot better than it did. Um, this mask has a weird strap system because a lot of people ask, how do you adjust S10 straps? Uh, basically, it's mostly pulling them because they are the kind of elasticated rubber. So what you want to do is there's these clips here and you unclip those by, sometimes it can be quite hard, but you can probably see there that there's a bit there that you have to basically get your thumb into or a finger, and you pull it until it opens, but like I said, they're not the easiest things in the world sometimes to get, and I think a lot of people don't like to adjust these because they think they're forcing it. But anyway, if you can't open them, it's not the end of the world, because you can still do them 
you know, by pulling them through. How the S10 strap system works is obviously the more you pull it through this way, the tighter it gets. And you can actually pull it back out the other way by doing the same movement. Obviously, the rubber does have a lot of play, but be careful you don't rip the rubber if it really doesn't want to move. So, again, how you're meant to do it is put your chin in and pull it over. But I personally find with the US 10 that it is actually easier if your hair's short to put the um, back straps on like that. So it's on the back of your head. And then simply to pull down. That's how I always find it much easier to put on an S10 or the Ava masks like an S10. Because it lets you actually keep your straps how you want them. That's how tight. And I can simply do that. Do that to put it on and off. Just be careful the drinking tube doesn't poke your eye out when you're putting it on like that though. But as you can see, that is an easier method in my opinion of doing it that way than it is to actually try and get your chin in first of these. You can obviously do it that way, that is probably a proper way to do it. But yeah, simply adjust the straps on this 10. You, if it, if it that will unclip easily, unclip it and pull it through that way. If not, just use a bit of force but be careful you're not damaging anything and pull them through either way but it does adjust like a conventional strap. It's just designed to kind of remember where the straps were when you adjusted them. When they replace this with the FM12 and CT12 Avon with their newer production ones, uh, those have this more elastic clips like you saw on the um, sort of Finish M61, where they've actually got little clips. They're kind of the same system, but they unclip easier, so you can pull it through, adjust it, and you clip it closed. There are other gas mask video, um, not videos. There are other gas mask strap systems than this. Um, maybe I'll cover them in different videos. But these are the kind of more conventional types of masks you'll see on the surplus market. Some of them do have really annoying strap systems where you kind of have to just fiddle about with the mask while it's off the pull bits through and adjust them, and then try it. Will it fit? If not, try again. But anyway, hopefully this is helpful for people who wanted to know how to easily adjust the straps. Well, not, sorry, adjust the straps, but put different gas masks on. The normal logic is chin in first, pull the straps over. I wonder if this S10 if I can actually do that like I was saying some manufacturers recommend. So again, like so you've got the mask like that, put your chin in and then over. And again, I don't think that's an easier way of doing it. I simply think with these masks, it is a lot easier, as I said, to put the top on if you've got your hair cut short, pull it down. A lot simpler in my opinion, but there you go. Hopefully that's cleared that up, but in general, chin in first is the rule, pull the straps over. If you cut your hair short, you can do it down. And with Soviet masks and the helmet style masks, just get them in the right size to fit your head. If you Google it, you can find a sizing chart for them where you measure your head and then you basically use a tape measure to measure your head kind of from your chin to the back of the skull. The same shape the mask is. Get one in the right size. It stretches a bit the rubber. Stretch it, put it over your chin, put it on. Fairly simple.